took him to another adventure. kind of fishing trip, a long walk up a steep hill. <laughs> All right, we made it to the river. Looks beautiful. A bit smaller than I was thinking, but it's going to be great. And we're just going to find ourselves a campsite now. We've made the walk in as you saw, it's a bit of an up and over mission and we've got into this beautiful valley, something cool happening today, we've got Hamish, he's on board for the mission, he's brought his wonderful tent, got a bit of a bivvy set up over there in case it rains and now we're just going to go for a bit of a look, we've got armed with fishing rods and guns today so watch out and we'll hopefully see if we can put one of the two into use. Let's go have an adventure. This river looks so fishy and the valley looks so dairy but we haven't seen any, any life yet so keep searching. So here we are on day two of this adventure. We got up early this morning and went out for a hunt. Uh, saw a lot of animal sign but didn't see any animals so yeah nothing in the bag there. And then we were just kicking back and waiting for things to dry out, maybe a bit of sun. And now we're heading up for a look. Fishing. The river it looks incredible, like it really is amazing. But we're struggling on the fish, we haven't seen any yet. So yeah, I'm not too sure. Been in this position a few times before. So we're just gonna enjoy the walk and have a look and hopefully we find some fish. all packed had a bit of a mission today but the bad news was the rod's still in the tube it didn't get a lot of action so we're gonna head on to another spot which means we've got a bit of walking to do but uh, yeah get on up the hill and uh, get a bit of a walk on up the climb 
good amount of altitude now. It's the river down there with no fish or deer for us today. So that's the climb done. Just got to head up that ridge line. Should have a nice view of the snowy mountain in the background. Beautiful river down there. Not many fish, but yeah, epic trip. So we're back from that big mission and we've just decided to drop into another bit of water and just see if we can't catch a couple of fish seeing as our last mission was pretty tough. Let's see how we go. So there you have it guys, after all that backcountry missioning and there's some beautiful country up there, unfortunately no fish, so we just came back and dropped in a few fish in the net, I think three, and then a couple more lost, the fishing was a bit of a frenzy really, so was all that walking worth it? Well it was an awesome adventure so I'd say yeah, but uh, the fishing's certainly a lot easier here. <laughs> hey, it's just one of those things. So after a couple of big days of walking uh, and you saw the results, it was a superb adventure, but just not too many fish around. Some stunning scenery, great view of the mountains and got back last night and we decided to have another crack today so just up the road from a mate's place is a nice river so we popped in here beautiful day sunny potentially some dry fly action so we're just having a look around now we got Yuli the pup with us and yeah hopefully we'll find some some fish and have a nice day fishing in the sun which is a good change for me <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Sit, sit. Okay. Yeah, you almost ran you under that log, that was so cool. <laughs> oh, it's taken <like> line. <laughs> He's running. So you see how he came up for that emerger, eh? That was awesome. I think I might have ruined the pool for another fish though. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah I think you cleared it out. 
There's a, oh, still one on the far side. Actually, though, if I can play him up, I mean, there's less risk. He goes. So if he goes. Oh, is he still on? Yeah, yeah. Because if he goes downstream under that log. That's going to be a big problem. So that's what he almost did straight away. I was like, fuck, he's going to run under that log. I think I might. Do you want me to help you with the needle? Are you all right? Um, yeah, it probably would be. Up, 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 up. Maybe if we rest the pool for half an hour that we might be right for another fish. I'll bring him down. Hey, hey, there you go. Nice. <laughs> Good job, man. Oh, not a bad fuck, he's a long fish. Language, please, mate. Language, you know. There's children at home. <laughs> Cheer, bro. They worked out all right, eh? Nice. It's like a beauty. It's uh, probably a, a table fish, isn't it? Yeah. It's the Scott fly rod. <laughs> Thanks to uh, Manic Tackle Project for uh, sponsoring me the, the rod. This fish. I could still hold it and get an underwater shot. It's a three pounder. A nice topo rainbow, three pound. We're not releasing this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he suddenly comes. Perfect to table to fish. What do you think of that fish, Yuli? Hey, was that a good fish? You're looking for your boss. Is Hamish the boss or Yuli the boss? That's the question. Yes, yeah, so I think you guys would have seen that. Popped on the, the dry dropper and the fish came straight up. Here in Copper with a flashback. And yeah, mean. And then there's like a, a log going across and the fish went to go under it, which would have been game over. But I managed to put enough pressure that the fish ran upstream. There's like five fish. And there's so unfortunately it cleared the pole but uh yeah it's a nice little gift after that <laughs> huge hikoi for the grand total of no fish so yeah good times and the weather's superb Get it. good boy Good dog, ready? Well, I love fishing. What's your rod? Worried you're gonna chuck your blooming stick into the rod now. He doesn't. I oh, usually does. I'm gonna say he doesn't shake. Yep, I'll get it. Just keep throwing it. I'll get it. I can definitely get it. Good boy. 
You're not gonna shit, mate. Chad is gonna take you out. <laughs> you just the other day with a stick like that. Tried to go between two trees and just got totally nailed out. Bam. <laughs>